This is the brand new Lip Injection Maximum Plump by Too Faced. Does it work? Yes. Does it burn like hell? Yes, let's talk about it. Remember guys, if you love videos like this one, to hit that notification bell, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. All right guys, let's get into it. All right guys, I'm so excited for this product. This is the lip plumper right here from Too Faced. This is called Maximum Plump. It's claiming to be extra strength, instant and long-term lip plumper. Okay, so the bottom line is what makes it a long-term lip plumper? Like, is that even a thing? Apply only within parameter of lips. If applied on skin, a temporary redness may occur if any Discomfort is present, remove and discontinue use, keep away from children. Okay. You guys know I have like uneven lips and it bothers me and I've wanted to get lip injections for a little while now, but I'm too scared to actually go get it done. Plus with, you know, COVID, we just haven't had the opportunity. But, you know, I'm hoping that something like this would actually be really, really beneficial for me. But we're gonna see how it wears, see if I like it. Love the packaging, love that pink. Like, that's fun, love that. This is really, really nice. Let's look at the wand. Okay, so it's just like a giant wand. Kinda like that. I'm just going to apply it to my lips. I guess I'll start with the bottom. Okay, so this has a smell. I don't know how to describe it to you other than that fluoride smell when you go to the dentist. It smells like a dentist's office. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, it smells exactly like a dentist's office. That's weird. What is in this? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go in and apply this to my bottom lip. I'm gonna go in just with a second coat concentrating on not getting it past the perimeter of my lip. Okay, it's a little tingly. I'm gonna go in and do my upper lip. Again, trying not to get past that line. Just right up to it. It definitely smells like a dental office. Okay, so on this side of my lip, that's where I have the unevenness. So I'm actually just trying to go right up to that line. Okay, definitely I can see the redness happening right here. And it is tingling, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It feels odd. So I'm gonna leave this on guys for 15 minutes starting right now. And I'm just going to just come back and talk to you guys and see how this wears and see how it feels like. We'll spill the tea and I'm gonna let you guys know. All right guys, see you in 15. All right guys, in the before picture on the right side of my upper lip, I have like some unevenness. I've suffered from that my entire life and you know, I just like fix it with lip liner. It's not a big deal for me. So if we switch to the after picture, you guys can see that this product obviously does work. My lips are you know, definitely plumper. Do I love the feeling? No. Do I think that they're even? No. It still smells like a dentist's office, which I'm having like a hard time, you know, to get over that smell. Kind of smells like intense fluoride and Novocaine. It's giving me that vibe. 
neither one of those products are in the ingredients list. I just want to let you guys know I do like the product. I hate the tingling sensation because it hasn't died down. It's still as tingly as it was. When it comes to the directions, there is a pink piece of paper in the box right here. I've read these. There's no super, super directions. Do I remove this after five minutes? Doesn't say. Do I remove it after the entire day? Doesn't say. Do I leave it on for like 15 minutes? Doesn't say. Like the length of time that I'm supposed to leave this product on my lips, it doesn't say. If they expect me to have this on my lips all day and I'm supposed to suffer with this tingly feeling on my lips all day, that's not happening. I'm not feeling it 100%. All right guys, let's give this a score. Let's talk about application for this product right here. So this glided on beautifully. Like it was easy to put on, easy to apply. Do I love the tingly? No. So I'm gonna have to give this probably a six out of 10. All right guys, let's talk about pigment for this product right here. So there's a little bit of pearlization in the bottle and it gives you this nice pearlization on the lips. I do enjoy that. But the smell, I'm going to count into this category and I really hate the dentist office smell. Like that's to me kind of not nauseating, but it's giving me that weird, like, I don't know how to describe it for you guys. I'm not here for it at all. So I'm actually going to give this one probably an eight out of 10. All right, guys, let's talk about value for this little guy right here. So there's comparable products on the market they all range between $29 and basically $39. This one right here is $39. Too Faced also launched another one that's more of a, I'm gonna say regular strength lip plumper, and this is the maximum strength. Their regular strength, for lack of better words, is $29. This one is coming in at $39. Does this work? Yes. Are my lips plumped? Yes. Do I love the sensation? No. For value, it is on point with other lip plumpers, and, but for me, personally, I'm going to probably have to give this one like a 7 out of 10 just because I feel like I hate the sensation so much, so it's just not meant for me. Bringing us to a final score of 21 out of 30. So I think it's important to tell you guys that obviously I've zoomed in. You guys can see here that it looks like it has bruised my bottom lip. I have gone in with a makeup wipe. I have removed most of the product from my surrounding lip area. I did not try and get it over my lips because I did read the instructions thoroughly not to get it outside your lip line. So I was very careful not to do that. And honestly, I feel like it has bruised my, you know, outside lip line just a little bit and it has been on probably now for like at least a half hour while I've been filming this video for you guys, if not maybe 40 minutes. So I'm letting you guys know that this is the final result, 100%. Am I gonna say go out and buy this? No, I'm gonna say try at your own risk because I do not like the results I got from this Too Faced product. I love Too Faced as a brand. Like I think their concealer is amazing. That Born This Way, yes girl, like it is in my holiday favorites of 2020. I love that concealer. I go in with it all the time. So Too Faced as a brand, superstars, rock stars, love them. Do I love this product? Am I gonna reach for it again? No. Remember, if you love videos like this one and you want to see more reviews, let me know in the comments down below. I really do appreciate it. Remember to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, live, love, lip gloss. Until next time, bye guys.